Chess are one of the world's most successful groups and they are celebrating 10 years at the top. Il Devo were formed in 2004 by Simon Cowell. Since then, they've sold more than 27 million records and knocked up more than 50 number ones worldwide. They've also duetted with some of the biggest names in music and performed at some of the world's most iconic venues. Now, at the end of their world tour, the band have just released their sixth album. These have put a spin on some of Broadway's most memorable songs. after tomorrow so obviously there's a little party after the um, uh, the concert but I think just you know being on stage at home and performing for our tenures precisely on that day it's going to be uh, fantastic with, to share that with the audience because I think it's always the best you know yeah. when you're successful the success is really down to your fans the people who support you and then with the record label we're going to have a little bit of fun I think some alcohol would be needed <laughs> <laughs> And of course, you were created a sense by Simon Cowell, and I wonder if even he may predict the fact you'd still be so successful after 10 years. Yeah, I don't think that anybody really mm. um, had any clue that it would go this far and go this distance. I think when we first started, it was just, you know, try and create something that we could all be proud of and uh, see where it goes from there. And it really was down to, you know, Sebastian says this in the show, the success is not really so much down to what we've made, but that the people have enjoyed what we made, and they continue to support us, and it's really all about them. And do you still get to see him? He must be very proud of you, Simon Cowell. We don't see him so much. I mean, I, I must say since, uh, since how long? You said that about 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. No, since Stop a long it. time. He's very busy with his own things, and yeah. so are we. But, you know, when we come across, it's always a pleasure. We always have a laugh, and... You know, celebrate the fact that the Ildi were still successful and mm. we're still around, you know, it's, it's mm. quite incredible. Mm. Why do you think it has been so popular? Why do you think people have loved what you do so much? Well, I think the Ildi was just very, very, um, a very colourful thing, you know, mm. like the four of us, we are all from different countries, we have very different personalities, mm. we look different, we have very distinct, different voices, and we make popular music. So mm. it's something familiar to everybody, but there's something different in there for everybody. I just think it has got a very, very broad appeal to the band. Now, the album you released last December, which is what you're touring now with, isn't it, is um, all about musicals. Is that something you've always been passionate about? The thing is, I mean, we, we, we have always had some musical theatre pieces in the, in the show. We started with Somewhere, then... then and John Crocker mentioned Tina, and then we thought that a musical theater would be ideal for the people. And then suddenly we, we just thought about to do the show and, and to make this record for the show. And you started, you were um, very, very young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was six years old in Germany, I was born in Germany. And uh, and then, uh, yes, I, I did hear many musicals. I did The Miserable, uh, Man of La Mancha, uh, Grease, and so many. Yes, and tonight I'm going to be in Halloween with my eye, with my red eye. Oh, yeah, what's going on with that eye? It's what just. Someone punched you. Yeah, it was a woman. Was it? You know, <laughs> she wouldn't let him out. <laughs> because I was still singing, so, so I just cried as she was married. And so, no, no, no. Do you know what you miss the most, Kate? Is our best jokes for 10 years. I know, I know. You should be comedians. Never mind sing, but you do sing brilliantly. We're going to have a little look at you on tour, some of your performances. I think, yeah. and especially at that time, because you know, that is almost well, that's seven, eight years ago. That was when we just really started, and we got invited by her to be. 
big guess on actually. Wow. So that was big honour for us, yeah, definitely. And we know about your deal with Catherine Jenkins as well, but you've got plans, haven't you, for someone else to do that with, which people might not expect you to want to. What's all this about? <laughs> yeah, Leah Salonga. I mean, obviously, we, we were not touring with Leah Salonga. She's a... No, that's... She's on set. That's, 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 that's who we're currently touring with. Ah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. I, I don't mean with who. With, with yeah, who would be your dream duet? Ah, okay. Uh, um, you think of Eminem, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Eminem, <laughs> Bjork could be really Bjork fantastic, could be you know good. what, because I think she's got an incredible voice, but she's also very ex extravagant, so it would be great to bring that within our, our own extravagance. <laughs> How would it work with Eminem, though? Well, you know, we, we're, we're very um, emotional yeah. when we sing. We, we kind of try and sing to the heights of passion and emotion, and, and it would bring a different kind of emotion, maybe. You know, anger is not something we express a whole lot in our shows, and that might, you know, make a nice comment. Well, you did look my eye. He, he was the one. <laughs> Brilliant to see you. Good luck with it. Can I just say thank you so much to our fans for this 10 years, for all the success you've made for us, because we know that you know a lot of people come and go, fans. And I say that every night, but uh, we really mean it. We feel very lucky. Well, we feel lucky to have you here for another 10 years. Lovely to be here. Now, time for a quick break now, but when we get back, Mark will be showing us how you can keep